In today's video, we'll see how to use uh, uh, Angular reactive forms uh, alongside uh, Angular ng multi select drop down. So, in this project, I already have uh, ng multi select drop down running. So, I have also binded some data to this drop down. So, as you can see in here, uh, this drop down has already has some data. So now what we'll do is we'll try to use uh, Angular reactive forms alongside uh, ng multi select drop down. So let's get uh, started. Uh, we'll start by adding uh, reactive forms modules to our app.dot module file. So now once we have the reactive forms module, go to your app.dot component.dot file and define a form group here. Now we'll be requiring a form builder to create our forms. So let's define an instance of a form builder. Now let's create a method called init form. This form will define the Angular reactive forms. Inside here, we'll define our form using form builder. Let's define our uh, drop down field as uh, grocery. And let's also add a validated, a required field validated to this thing. So now, once you have this form and all defined here, we need to go to the app.component.html file. And here, Define the form group. Like this and also we need to add a form control name here. It's grocery. Now uh, on click of this button, we'll also add a method called handle button click. Now this is just to Check the value of our for for reactive form. So we'll define a method here. Now, once we click on this button, we'll log the value of our reactive form. So this dot form dot value. Now save everything and uh, go to your form. Refresh it. So I'll just go to the console also here. So now um, let's select a couple of values here. We already have a on select event here. So whenever we select a value, that will be console locked here. Now once we are done with the selections, um, I'll just click on this press button. So as you can see, while clicking on this press button, it prints our console lock the values of the reactive forms. So here you can see uh, that the grocery has like four values here, all the four selected values. And now as you can see here, um, the values in the reactive forms, it's only the item ID and the item text, but the actual data we had something called group and we may have some nested values also. So, for, to, so in order to get that, uh, that whole object, maybe you can write some custom functions. Get object list from data so here I am passing in the list of data here the item IDs and based on the IDs what we can do is we can um, return this dot get data dot filter Includes item dot item ID. So here we can call that value. Actual data. This dot. Here we can 
pass in this dot form uh, form dot value dot cross c dot map item dot item id let's save this thing go here select a couple of values here and click press button you can see here this is the data from the reactive forms and this is the actual data here where you can see we have the actual uh, object list with group and all here so I hope uh, you find or uh, like you found this video useful if you have any questions related to the video feel free to put a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.